Hi, I'm Dylan Zika, and I'm here from the machine learning group at ARM. Um, I'm here to demonstrate a uh, new and interesting use case we have for machine learning. It centers around image classification and visual systems. Um, today we've been seeing quite a few applications um, in which are have been moving to the edge for machine learning. Eventually we've been at the data center and we've been transitioning more and more towards these smaller embedded devices. Um, the main triggers that have been pushing this have really been focused around battery life, um, privacy, and security. This demo here um, has an M7, which is doing image classification using a CIFAR 10 data set. Um, it is trained uh, and then run on our M7, doing 10 inferences per second. It represents many different use cases um, out in the marketplace today, um, such as smart retail, smart home, um, industrial, agricultural, many of these low cost vision systems with a, a sort of $5 selling price. Um, it's suitable for low resolution image cameras, um, capturing images and doing classification on them for many different use cases. Um, we are excited to see many of the new use cases that the market is gonna come out with um, using this technology. In addition to all the use cases and all the work we've been doing here on hardware, um, we really wanna focus a lot at ARM here on software enablement. Um, our software enablement allows customers to provide a path of least resistance to our hardware. We provide optimized libraries such as Simsys NN, which allow people to go from neural frameworks to our hardware, running with optimized libraries um, that have optimized execution time. Um, in addition to our Cortex-M software enablement, we also do Cortex-A software enablement, and allowing people to target our Cortex-A portfolio um, through ARMNN and Compute Library.